in the heart of Arthur Ashe Stadium, an electric tension hung heavy in the air. A fourth round battle of wills and skill was underway between Coco Goff and Caroline Wozniacki. Amidst the ebb and flow of the game, Coco Goff's coaching team, led by Brad Gilbert, proposed a shift in her strategy. They suggested more spin, a focus on consistency, and the initiation of lengthier points, but Goff, displaying a maturity beyond her years, politely declined their advice. Opting to carve her own path, she chose to chart her course through the tempest that was the final set. Instead of adhering to the proposed strategy of patient defense from behind the baseline, Goff chose to go on the offensive. She stormed her way inside the baseline, attacking relentlessly with a ferocity that was breathtaking to behold. The match unfurled, a tense, physical and captivating generational duel. Goff emerged victorious, defeating Wozniacki in a 6-3-3-6-6, one victory, securing her spot in the quarterfinals of the US Open. Goff's courage in the face of adversity was evident. Getting it to two, one was the turning point, she reflected. After trailing by a break in the final set, her comeback was a testament to her resilience. I showed that I was still in the match after breaking back. I started to go for my shots. I was still being aggressive. I think I made some mistakes in the second, but Caroline, she's back. It's like she never left. The level that she's played today has been amazing. She's been an inspiration for me growing up. The match was one of the most highly anticipated of the tournament. Both Goff and Wozniacki share many similarities. They are among the best athletes of their generations, both boasting wicked backhands and early successes in their careers yet both have been somewhat stymied by their forehands, an Achilles heel that their competitors have not hesitated to exploit. Despite a shaky start, conceding her opening service game, the 19-year-old Goff played an excellent first set. She managed to maintain a delicate balance between taking the initiative and consistency in the many long physical exchanges. Her serve was a thing of beauty, consistently earning her free points and keeping her opponent guessing with a variety of serves. Wozniacki, on the other hand, gave Goff too many opportunities with her subpar second serves, a mistake for which she paid dearly. In the end, it was Coco Goff's day. She showed not only her strength and skill, but also her independence and resilience. Defying her coaches and beating Caroline Wozniacki, she proved once again that she is a force to be reckoned with on the tennis court.